Hey guys, so this is Raymond uh, in Chungju, Korea, talking about the CPI program and you know general things that I've observed about uh, living in Korea. Um, right now, I'm in my uh, balcony. I'm a really lucky guy. I'm the only guy in the program that actually has a full-on balcony behind me. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's all my clothes, all the clothes that I have that I just hung in my clothes line, in my makeshift clothes line. Um, because the Koreans are not big on clothes lines, I think. Like, if you look around, if you go to the rooftops, right? If I'm gonna pan out a bit, you know, and I can, you can probably see a few of the rooftops. Um, no one is using clothes lines anywhere. Uh, a lot of them uh, use um, an indoor clothes line, which I think really makes sense uh, if you're, you know. If your lifestyle is you're going to go through the winter, I really can't imagine doing a rooftop clothesline in the winter. But it's the summer right now. As you can see, I'm squinting a lot because it's super bright right now. Um, it, everything is reflecting off of the floor. Um, but anyway, so this is it. So you guys can have a bit of a view of uh, Chungju. Now, I, right now what I want to talk about is the training program that we've been on so it's a martial arts program right uh, we're supposed to learn uh, Taekyeon, uh Korean martial art uh, which is pretty good actually uh, it's according to them it's like the predecessor of Taekwondo right and when we saw the cultural presentation a while back they were talking about and I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos about it being more of a folk martial art before um, because of all of the they have the wrestling component the kicking component so I'm gonna talk a little bit about just my experience with it uh, it's been one week so we've been training for about one week uh, we've been doing a lot of physical conditioning and I haven't done physical conditioning in a long time like I thought I did physical conditioning you know I lift a lot of weights but what I'm doing is basically heavy lifting you know with uh, the bar uh, not really calisthenic kind of exercises you know running around jumping jacks and also push-ups that kind of thing and also some really really weird stuff one of these days I'm gonna take a video of uh, the first part of our training program so you can see um, what we've been doing the thing that I'm really happy about is that I've been stretching my legs because one of the comments that I had before with uh, one of the uh, what do you call that um, physical therapists that I've worked with is that my the range of motion of my calf like my calf muscles are so stiff that the range of motion I have there is really really limited and this kind of training uh, you know with uh, Tikgyon is really very heavy on leg work because the rules of the of the folk competition is you either knock someone down to the floor that's one knock someone down to the floor and by knocking someone down to the floor I think it's similar to the old three-point rule like if three points of your body are on the floor you're out right so you, if your two feet are down and then you put your hand on the floor then you're you're out right if your two legs are down and then your butt hits the floor then you have two points uh, three points on the floor right so that's their basic rule and the other way to win uh, is to hit someone in the face with your foot so two ways to win knock someone down hit them in the face with your foot so foot to face would require a lot of stretching and a lot of really high kicks or based on what i've been seeing so far you're really allowed to just punch them in the stomach then hit them in the face with your foot so <laughs> yeah it reminds me of some comedy show but anyway that's what we've been doing so far so we do a lot of stretching and i love it um, you know it hurts I'm gonna admit it hurts I'm probably the only guy in the program who comes from a weapon martial art okay everyone is from an empty hand tradition except oh no even the guy from Wushu is doing primarily empty hand Chinese martial arts so I'm the only guy who comes from a weapon tradition and we don't 
you know, good leg flexibility is really great, but it's not an absolute necessity. And I have to admit, I've been kind of lax in that area. And that's what I love about the training, you know, because it's nice to start again in something as a beginner. Uh, and you discover a lot of the things that, where you've been weak at and you're really kind of in denial about when it comes to working it out like i know that my legs are really stiff right i know that my range of motion is not as good as it could be and i really suspect that it it's affecting my performance like i can't do the lunge as far as i could or as fast as i could or whatever because of my leg um the lack of leg flexibility um but because i know so much about arnis and how to what do you call that how to compensate for that little lack of uh, mobility in my leg i can actually get away with not addressing it at all um, but here I, i'm really forced to address it and it's good it, it's making me grow as a martial artist to be honest so there we are um that's the thing i'm liking it so far it's been great so far and the people in the Tekion Center have been really nice you know um, I know I'm I'm probably missing a few elements of being Korean or Koreanness as it were you know I, I don't know when to bow exactly I don't know when saying annyeonghaseyo is correct it's the rule of thumb seems to be all the time just say annyeonghaseyo all the time uh, <laughs> that seems to be the rule of thumb so I'm going to keep doing that. Um, but you know, little bits of protocol are you're not too familiar with. So that, it's one of those things that you kind of think about living in another country. You know, uh, their protocol, how they do things. So there we are. So this is Raymond uh, in Korea, in Chungju, Korea, uh, signing out.